To Connecticut News Now, an update out of Trumbull. Thieves stealing catalytic converters from 16 buses used for special education students. It's an act of vandalism that's disrupted plenty of parents and student schedules. News of Connecticut's Marissa Alter reports. Emily Beauclair's daily routine hit a snag this week. We got an email very early on Monday morning letting us know that there were no buses for our kids that day because somebody had stolen all the catalytic converters out of the buses. Beauclair's four-year-old son Joe goes to Trumbull Early Childhood Education Center. Every single bus has been, has been stopped for my, my son's school. It's hundreds of kids have no way to get to and from school. Um, it's insane. Trumbull police say a fleet of 16 small school buses were hit at the Durham School Services lot on Spring Hill Road sometime over the weekend. That's over $40,000 in damage. The thefts weren't discovered until Monday morning. First we thought who would do such a thing for, it was only for the special education buses. And then the second thing was how are we going to get our kid to school and how are we going to pick him up in the middle of the day because uh, Joe's school is actually um, only half days. A statement from Durham School Services says in part, it is likely there will be service disruptions over the next few days as we try to source replacement parts as quickly as possible. We will try our best to minimize disruptions to service as best as we can. That spokesperson also says Durham School Services is putting additional security measures into place to try to prevent something like this from happening again. I'm normally supposed to be working in the city today and had to just stay at home so that I could you know, wait 45 minutes online to pick up my kid because the entire school needs to be picked up. Trumbull police say they're reviewing security camera footage and working with law enforcement in other cities and towns, noting this is an issue across the state. They're also asking for the public's help to track down the people responsible. In Trumbull, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut.